Hello, dragons. I'm Andy Murray, the founder of The Drinks Bakery, and I'm here today to ask for £50,000 in exchange for 15% equity in my company. Over the last 20 years, we've seen the emergence of many great craft drinks. Imagine a perfectly baked Parmesan toasted pine nut and basil biscuit with a glass of champagne. We at The Drinks Bakery create delicious savoury biscuits that are expertly flavour profiled, so they actually complement great drinks. And we're already selling our range into some of the best beer bars, wine bars, delis and bottle shops, where we're establishing a premium snack brand that partners with the very best drinks brands. After almost two years of trials and development, we recently launched and we sold our first 5,000 packs of drinks biscuits in just a little over 10 weeks. We're talking to one of the biggest duty-free retailers in the world, who are especially interested in our drinks biscuits for gin and whiskey that we're currently developing. And we're already planning our first export sales to China later this year. We're on a mission to export far and wide to a discerning global food and drinks audience, resulting in a year three target turnover of 2.4 million pounds. Thank you for listening. And remember that every great drink deserves a great snack from the drinks bakery. Would you like to try? Why not? Definitely. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> A business that marries up biscuits and beverages is the proposition from Andy Murray. I would certainly recommend the champagne with the, the green box. He wants a £50,000 investment for 15% of his company. And once you've had a little taste, I'll be very happy to take any questions you have. I'm sorry, I'm busy at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like Deborah Meaden is already a fan. Hi, Andy. Hello, Deborah. I really like them. What's nice, it's not just the taste, it's the feel in the mouth. Yeah, it's a biscuit. That, yeah, it's <laughs> really biscuit. important. Yeah. That, funny enough, that's your crispiest one. Yes. I quite like the slightly softer one when you're drinking. Yeah. But, you know, that's just a personal taste. So, are you a chef? Yeah. I, How yeah. did that happen? Yeah, <laughs> I, listen, I, you know, this stuff's in my DNA, you know. I grew up in a food-obsessed family. And, uh, you know, mum and dad were, were foodies, you know, before it was even cool, you know, back in the 70s and 80s. And um, so it's not unusual for me to find myself, you know, making my own uh, snacks. So you did, you did the recipe? You actually did yeah, the product development? Yes. They're yours? Completely, yes. They're great. Yeah, thank you. Andy, I do drink in pubs. I do like craft beer. I'm not really a champagne drinker, but occasionally I do if I get invited around to Tuka's house. But I actually think the product's nice. I think it tastes nice. So I kind of get it. But I'm slightly concerned about the stage of where you are. It's a complete and utter start-up. How much money have you put into it so far? Um, yeah, I've put in about 17,500. Yeah. So it's been in development for a couple of years now. So I've been very thorough in terms of the research. You've done uh, well to invest 17K. <laughs> Is all that money gone? No, we have a little bit in the bank at the moment. I'm impressed too yeah. with £17,000 to, to have a product that tastes great, packaged with the design and on shelf. That's amazing. People Absolutely. spend that on trademarks sometimes when they're coming here. Yeah, thank you. High praise for the entrepreneur who's managed to build a company without splashing too much cash. Now, from business to biscuits, as Tuka Suleiman prepares to deliver a review of the nibbles. Andy. Uh, Tuka. Hi, sir. I must say, I've just tasted two of them. My first impression is there's nothing new in the taste. OK. Very predictable. And the taste in my mouth is... That's me. However, what I'd like to know is what does that cost? And what do you sell it for? OK. Yeah, so we, uh, that costs 58p. 58p. And we, and we wholesale it at £1.15p. Wholesale it. And what about to a distributor? To a distributor, 90p. 90p, OK. Sells for 250 So that sells for 195 in the off-trade, £2.50 in a bar. Right. What's the potential of getting this into a, an Asda, a Tesco? Mm -hmm. Do you think there's demand for it? What we've done is we, we're already developing products that are going to be suitable for that, the retail yeah. and the multiples. You're, you're and, saying and, we? Who's and, in the team? OK, uh, me and my biscuits. You and your biscuits? <laughs> yes. So, <laughs> right, so we mean you? Yes. Andy, in a pub or an on-trade uh, location, this is usually at the back behind the counter, right? Yes. 
this is what we're going to change, OK? To this point, snacks have always been seen as a passive sale. With a snack like this, the outlet can actually be proud of a product that they've got. And they say, oh, by the way, you like that IPA you've got, you really need to try it with you know, these drinks biscuits that have been profiled to match. Right, now that makes total sense. Thank you. Andy's trailblazing ideas for shaking up a traditional market are hitting the spot with Tej Lalvani. But Jenny Campbell thinks the entrepreneur might be missing a trick with his brand message. Hi, Andy. Jenny. Hello, Jenny. I think there's something here about the story that needs to wrap around this, because mm -hmm. it is a great story. What you said about your parents and growing up as a foodie and then creating this on your own kitchen table and the pairing with the wise... Yeah. If it was just to see this in a farm shop, I wouldn't necessarily make that connection. Yeah. So I like that whole concept. I think there's a lot to do around it, and it's very early days. It's finding that, you know, holy grail. I'm pushing at doors. Yeah. If they're opening, I'm going through them. Well, I think you're opening the doors yourself <laughs> very, very well. It's just you've got to hone in on which is the door that's going to create the revolution. Yes. Do you have a view of that? What would be the game changer? It's, it's about nailing down the distributors at the moment. And also, all the while, be maybe looking at that um, retailing in the multiple, you know, getting the product right for them, getting the price points right in that sector as well. OK. I really like it. And I suspect you're not going to lead a lot of management. You want contacts? and opening the doors, and I think that's probably all you're going to need. Yep. So I'm going to make you an offer. I'm going to offer you all of the money. And I want 25% of the business. Deborah Meaden thinks she spotted a hassle-free investment and makes a play for the company. Does Tej Lalvani also want a bite of the biscuit business? Andy, you've done a really good job on the flavours and the tastings. But I think I can do a lot in terms of retail distribution for you. And I think the supermarkets will be quite interested because they sell a huge amount of alcohol in terms of international, I can definitely help you there. We sell in about 100 countries with distributors in supermarkets. So, I too am going to make you an offer. For £50,000, for 25%, but I could be willing to share that. OK. Thank you, Tim. Tej Lalvani wants in and he's willing to partner up with another dragon to seal the deal. Will Tuka Suleiman be willing to join forces or make a rival bid of his own? Andy, you've got two offers. And I can see 100% why. I'm not sure about the product for my own taste, but I can understand where it fits. I can understand how commercial it is. So don't take it personally. I'm not going to invest in that. I'm out. Andy, it's a great product. You're really good. You're pushing on doors. You can soon sort out which door to push through and yeah. go for growth. This is definitely, definitely going to go somewhere. It's just a little bit early for me. Not quite the right sure. fit just yet. So I'm going to wish you all the best and say cheers, I'm out. Jenny Campbell shuns the snack business, leaving only one dragon still to stake his claim. Is Peter Jones planning on making it a hat trick of offers? Andy, it's weird because it kind of feels almost too new and too early stage, and yet there's lots of things that I like. To get it to this stage for £17,000 really shows that you know how to look after money. And I do think that you've got an opportunity to get this product out there. I'm going to make you an offer. I'm going to offer you all of the money. 
and I too would be willing to accept 25%. But I'd also be willing to share with another dragon. Thank you, Pia. Thank you. And Andy, I'll just add something. I would be willing to share an investment. So I've just made your life even more difficult. Thank you, Darren. <laughs> Want to think about it? Yes. <laughs> it's neck and neck as Deborah Meaden, Tej Lalvani, and Peter Jones all compete for 25% of the business. But at 10% more than the 15% Andy wanted to give away, has he got the wherewithal to muster up a better deal? Um, would you be willing to consider a, a clawback of 5%, maybe once I pay back the money that I'm that you've invested? I'm definitely your man with this. I can help you build the brand, get the distribution, get the shelf space, and help you with the international, try and make it into a major brand. I'm gonna have to stick with the, what it is. Okay. Peter and Deborah. Yeah, in what time scale? 18 months? Yeah. Feels reasonable. Yes. Yeah. Well, then I'd like to accept your offer. Hey. Hey. Excellent. Good luck. Excellent. I am going to put on so much weight. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just going to drink with you and research. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well done.